Hey, 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 guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of Fishing Sim World Pro Tour. Been a while since we've been here. We've had a lot of things going on with other games. Of course, I've had a lot of reviews I've had to get through. But we thought we'd go back here because a lot of people do like to watch this particular series. <coughs> now, I have been hanging around Jazoria Be Bestie for the most part. I believe that's in Poland. Don't correct me if I'm wrong on that, but I believe it is Poland. Uh, this is supposed to be known, I think it's actually an existing place. It's known for very large wells, catfish, and very large pike. So we're going to come in here. We've already caught quite a few pike. We probably will catch some more today. I'm hoping to get a trophy one. That'd be nice. But I'm also trying to see if we can't get us a wells catfish. I have not gotten one here in Quite some time. I've been trying to get them, but haven't had any luck. Uh, the last time I did get one, I believe it was on this spot over here. Yeah, it's where these two islands meet. And I believe I have been right down here. And actually, I think I got the weather right, too. This is light clouds and sunset. So we're going to try this. Yeah, there was a slight mist. I also got to look to make sure you have that little railing there. But this is where I was when I caught that last time. And we're going to go ahead and claim this peg. Now, I will still do some lure fishing. Like I said, I would like to get a trophy pike. I'll just be glad to get a Wells catfish at this point. But there's some good spots to try to fish for these guys. I'm going to try right over there as one of them, but let me see if I have anything on my gear that they like. Yes, we do have Roach Head. I'm going to use the Pop-Up Tiger Nuts as well. I think I did get a trophy using that, but not here. I think it was at Wald Sea Lake. Now, I am going to change my lure casting. I'm going to use one of the shaker ones let's see we've got the we got the booty shaker the big t fry daddy the tremor shad the shockwave bombshell all these are really good for going after large pike let's try the booty shaker roach head looks good okay, that's the second rod so let me go ahead and grab that i'm gonna go ahead and place my two bottom rods here doesn't take much to cast this out far. Like I said. Well, I'm just going to reel it in and get it. Yeah, I've got to recast that. Gosh, I wish I could. Okay, that's better. We're just going to barely cast it out there. That's better. I think... I better check my hook. I think I did change some of the hooks here. You gotta really make sure that they're... what kind of substrate they're best for. The dark matter rig. That's at number two. Okay, that's silt, which is what I do want. Okay, that's good. It's for silt. Want to be sure it's silt. That might still go too far. 
No? Okay, we got gravel. Well, okay, there's a little bit close, but honestly, I don't think that matters. Alright, the third one, pop of tiger nuts. Again, I think I need I need to make sure that I've got Okay, it's a dark matter rig also, so we need silt. Let's try over here. Well, we already got one on number two. That was fast. The only thing about doing it near these islands, though, is if you get something really big, they can go around it and snap your line. So I've got to be careful. And once it gets closer, I can really put the drag on, but for now, we got to watch our drag. At this point, I can't tell what it is, really. It seems a little fast for a Wells catfish, so it could be a pike. Yeah, it is a pike. Not a monster. He shouldn't be too hard to get in. Oh, come on. Yeah, there he goes. Yeah, see what I mean? He is not all that big. Only 15 pounds. Okay, we'll try that again. Again, I can cast out too far. Yeah, it bothers me that we have to get so close to get the silt. Okay, right there. Alright, let's try to see if there's any silt this direction. There we go. Again? Well, there's definitely some fish right there. I think we got us another... Another pike. Yes, we do. But he's much bigger than the last one. Yeah, he's actually a decent size one. Probably not a trophy, but... Actually, he might be kind of impressive. He's looking kind of big. Yeah, that's a nice looking fish. This guy's going to take a while to come in. I 
And we've got one on the other one too, guys. I'm on big phone. Yeah, this guy's big. Fighting this one for a while. Quite a while. Okay, this may, this may actually be a trophy, as long as it's taking, I'm not so sure, but it's not. If it isn't, it's a very large, common size one. Maybe even a personal best, I don't know, at least for this map. Got him finally. Holy crap. Oh wow, that is a massive fish. And we reached level 73. He was 44 pounds. Still wasn't a trophy. What is the cutoff for trophy size? Holy crap. Because he is huge. 61.54 inches. That is not a small fish. I don't know. I don't know what the cutoff is, but... Let me get a good shot at that one. I don't think I can spin it around, but... Anyway. That got me another level. Nothing else. Alright, well, it looks like we've got some activity over there. I'm gonna go ahead and try to see if I can't change this hook up, because the... It just isn't enough silk over there. I'm going to see if there's a better hook for rocky areas. I want something a little bit... Shoot. Not a crack crack. Okay, that is right. Crank rate is right. Okay, so we want a crank rig for this one. Alright, let's try throwing this back over again, only this time we can throw it out further. Of course, over there, there's silt. Perfect. Now this we can cast pretty hard because 
We do need to take the speed down a little bit, though. There we go. Something close to shore, which probably means it's not that big, but... Well, maybe it is. T is taking out quite a bit of line. He was seriously close that time. Come on. Come on. There we go. We got him. Well, that's another monster. Actually, he was bigger than the last one. The last one was harder to get in. 61.20 inches. I think the other one was longer, but this one's definitely fatter. Well, one thing's for certain. These... These two are not getting the bites that they were getting before. What is going on with number two? Yeah, I think I'm going to go back to the dark matter. I must have gotten a bite and didn't realize it. I've got to really throw it far. I'm going to make that the silt area. There it is. Let's see how that does. I'm going to keep that where it is. There we go. Let's take this stick the tension down a little bit first. Yeah, I think it's yet another pike. Just by the way it's fighting. Keeps hanging there close to shore. Yeah, I don't want it to go behind the island. That will give it an opportunity to snap the line. I 
Okay, yeah, he's not as big as the other two. Not as small as the first one, somewhere in between. He just swam right by me. Got him. Yeah, he's not nearly as big. Like I said, somewhere between 28 pounds, about 30 pounds. Seems kind of strange, though, that we're still not getting any bites off of these. Not so sure about that fishing location. Let's see how far I can cast this this way. Ooh, very nice. It's about where I wanted it to. Yeah, I'm going to change this one as well. Back to a dark matter. Crank is not doing anything. Yeah, I've got roach head on this one. Let's try a full roach. I'm going to throw it as far as I can, putting it right in between. Yeah, that's perfect. Eh, I think I reeled it in too much. Try it again, just slightly to the right. That's good. Okay, so the booty shaker's been doing pretty good. Let's see if there's... One of these others might do better. The tremor shed has always been very effective. There we go. Number two. You can only hope this one's going to go back behind those islands. And he's still gaining distance. Oh, 
Wow. Okay, this is a big fish. Which really concerns me now that he's going back behind the island. Okay, now we got... Right on the other one. Okay, he's coming back. He's still taking that damn thing out. Good God. No, he is actually a pike. Very large one. Very large one. There we go, we got him. Man, I'm just pulling one monster out after another here, guys. 39 pounds. Not as big as the other two, but still decent fish. I think it's interesting, though, that we have not caught any Wells catfish yet. They're supposed to be here. Using the baits they go for. I have not caught one in a very long time. There we go. Took a little while for somebody to get interested, but... No, nah, definitely another pike. Yeah, I don't know what the deal is. Well, I have not seen a whale's catfish over here. They're supposed to be here, but they just do not seem to be biting. Unless they're only biting at night. I think that's what we may do in the next episode. Come in here in the nighttime and see if they are biting then. Thought an overcast sky would help, but apparently not. I'm going to try something. I'm going to try grabbing number two. We already know what one is. And two could be something completely different.
but it's definitely still taking it out. I'm not even budging it. Wow. Okay. It's coming in a little bit. Still able to get back behind there. Whoa. He almost snapped the line. He went behind. And he did it. He did it. That's what I was afraid of. That, my friends, is probably a trophy. God bless it. That was probably a trophy of some kind. Yep, he got behind the island and took it under. I had it down to 27 on the... And he still got it. That's going to happen every now and then. It's the risk you got to take. There we go. Whoa. See, he had a little bit of strength there at the beginning. He's going to pull the same trick the other one did. Okay, I think we got him enough in front of the island now. We're good. Another good size pike. Oh shoot, I thought I had him. We got him. We got him. Hmm. Moderately good size. Probably about, yeah, 28 pounds. Yeah, I don't know what the deal is with the Wells catfish. I have not seen one. No, they're here.
Where, though? That's the problem. Where are they? Okay. Which one? Okay, it's the third one. I have not gotten any bites off that one yet. This is going to have to be the last one, guys, I'm afraid. This is going to be tricky, because he's right in between the islands. Which... <laughs> and I got one on the first one. Ah, he snapped it. Yeah, I told you it was going to be tricky. Hmm. Yeah, they snap it off pretty darn easy between those two islands. Yep, I'm trying number two again. And he's taking it out. Yep, they're getting me every time here, guys. They keep breaking the line. Well, I'm afraid that's going to have to be it. I don't think we're going to get that Wells catfish this time, but I think in the next episode we're going to come here at night. We're going to try it then. Hopefully, we'll have better luck. Well, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And I will be back with another episode of Fishing Simple Tour. So until then, it's always great cast for and have fun. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.